When it comes to describing what Netbox is, there's really two answers. You'll see what's on the surface, a network documentation system. And then you'll see something beyond the surface, which goes so much deeper. My friends, welcome to the data center. Chances are good if you're in technology for any length of time, you will eventually set foot in an environment like this. Now, it may be a literal data center like I'm in right now with racks of equipment, and I'm just showing you one of them. If you were to just walk down the corridors of this data center, you would just see rack after rack of, uh, after rack of equipment. I mean, there's probably more equipment here than I can even fathom uh, that bring connectivity and data storage and application software as a service, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to clients. Or you could be stepping foot into your company's MDF or IDF or whatever you have that brings network and, and server connectivity to your environment. Regardless of what environment it is, this stuff is really important, right? And one of the things that happens is we get so focused on, on getting it all in there and getting the services delivered that documenting what's there is actually an afterthought or we've got one Excel spreadsheet over here and then another one and nah, no one's really sure which one's up to date, right? It just, it just becomes an afterthought. So enter the picture Netbox, right? Which is an application that's designed to document exactly what this, what this, this stuff is. Not only what is the equipment, but what's connected to what, what's powering what, what connections are coming in, what carrier are they from. Essentially, it's a database that allows you to have an interface to document this well. And, and if you do it right, it can be the hub, essentially the step, the, the start of a full system that proactively ties everything together. As in, what if, what if I could install a firewall up here at the top of the switch that as I add it, add it to Netbox, did I say switch on top of the cabinet, right? As I add it to Netbox, I automatically have it add to my monitoring system and that automatically adds it to our billing system and our inventory city and all the other things. Netbox can be the hub of what becomes a paramount documentation system that keeps your company totally up to date and running together. So let me bring you back from the data center to a much quieter environment, right? I wanna make sure I convey what Netbox is and, and show you a picture of what it looks like. On the surface, this, this is Netbox, right? It is a IP address management, that's IPAM, right? And data center infrastructure management utility. Now, now I'm saying data center just where I was a moment ago, but this is also, it, it could be useful for documenting any business of any size, as a matter of fact, I use it, we use it at my company VIA to document all of our customers, right? And what, what different IP address blocks, VLANs, et cetera, et cetera, they have so that we can quickly track each one of them. That's, that's the surface. And at that, it does an amazing job. It's lightning fast because it was built from the ground up to do exactly what it was. It's not a result of acquisition after acquisition and slapping all of these different things together, which so many IP address management products I've seen out there are, right? So, so. It does what it does well, but I wanna make sure that you catch, this is meant to be the first place you go before you ever provision the actual device, right? And I'm gonna emphasize what I just said in the data center, but a little crisper this time. The idea is that you can go into Netbox right here. You can provision a device, which you can see some devices right here. Let's just say we go in and add a device, right? And I, I, I fill in all my provisioning information, the serial number, right? Fill in the device type, all, all of the different things, which leads you to the next page of configuration after page. You provision it right here. And once you click go, your automated systems behind the scenes take that information and do at that point, whatever you want with it. One, could generate a template configuration for the device based on, we'll say the IP addressing you put in here, the power connections, the console connect, right? All of that information, you can have a script come in and fill in blocks of a template configuration to where it's like, okay, there's your configuration. Hours of engineering time saved, just like that, right? Second thing, you could have it add it to an inventory database, which maybe starts backing up the configuration of that device on a regular basis, or a monitoring system, or, 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 you know, the, the, the options are truly endless because Netbox, is, Netbox was built 
with APIs in mind, application programming interfaces, right? Where this links to all kinds of other systems to provide a ton of functionality with this being the starting point. You'll hear it said many, off, uh, many times, this is the central point of truth in your, in your system, right? Everything else stems from doing what you have in Netbox right from the beginning. In this series of videos, my goal is to show you how to work with Netbox, I would say primarily on point number one, right? How do you, how do you work with this system? How do you get your information in there in the best possible way, right? As we move forward, I'd love to take you into, okay, how to use Netbox to back up all your device configurations and tie it into your configuration management system. How to use Netbox to monitor your devices and have it automatically create the sensors that you need to tell you the CPU utilization, the bandwidth on the interface, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? That will be in the future, but you have to start somewhere. Let's start by talking about how we get Netbox set up from the ground up to be a phenomenal network management documentation system. It's that simple.